Hey, what's up everybody? Goats here. If you click this video, you're probably aware of cold plunging and you're curious about how to build your own. Well, today I'm gonna to bring the Polar Plunge to the house and I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to take an ordinary chest freezer and turn it into an ice bath, complete with water temperature control, purification, and filtration. Then I'm gonna get into the benefits of cold therapy, such as reduced inflammation, some of the risks of cold therapy, and I'm gonna provide you with some resources moving forward. But first, let's take a look at the materials and the cost breakdown. The first thing you're gonna need is a chest freezer. I found mine on Facebook Marketplace for $150. Then you're gonna want an above ground pool pump, an ozone injector, a 15 amp 125 volt straight blade plug, an aquarium thermometer that is optional, a three outlet plug adapter, an ozone generator, an inch and a quarter to three quarter inch ID barb reducer and three quarter inch ID clear tubing, JB weld water weld, a digital temperature controller, extra long through hole connectors, some frog tape and some Sikaflex 291 marine sealant. All of these items totaled up comes to approximately $534.10. First, watertight seal the freezer. Take your Sikaflex sealant and apply it to all seams inside the chest freezer. Mask it off with painter's tape, wear gloves, and do your best to smooth it out. This stuff is sticky. As you can see, mine turned out perfect. My cold plunge is outside, so I had to level off an area in the side yard. I built a simple frame out of two x four lumber to support the weight of the water and a human. This also elevates the cold plunge enough to run hoses out of the bottom. The ozone generator comes with an odd plug, and this is why you need the straight blade plug. The white wire goes on the left side, the black wire goes on the right side, and the green wire goes on the bottom. Here's how the hoses get connected. The upper hose on the pump pulls water out of the freezer. The lower hose sends water into the freezer. This hose has the ozone injector with the ozone generator connected to it. There is a directional check valve that comes with the ozone generator and it prevents water from backfilling into the generator. If you're unsure of the direction of the check valve, blow into it. I cut holes in the bottom of the freezer for the inlet and outlet of the water pump. This is where those long hole fittings come into play. Put those holes in and seal them with Sikaflex or JB Weld water weld. Now to get everything working, connect your inlet and outlet hoses with the fittings on the bottom of the freezer. Make sure the pump fills with water. You don't want to run it dry. Turn the pump on and plug up the ozone generator. There you have it. The water is filtered by the pump and the ozone purifies the water, killing bacteria and viruses. I run the pump and ozone generator for about 45 minutes a day. Now you're ready to enjoy the benefits of cold therapy. Recent studies have shown that exposure to cold speeds up your metabolism, reduces inflammation, swelling, and sore muscles. It also stimulates your immune system, strengthening it so you're less likely to get sick. Cold exposure will cause an increase in noradrenaline by 530% and dopamine by 250%. Icing your body also helps with anxiety because it stimulates the vagus nerve, in charge of relaxing your body. If you're interested in learning more, Dr. Andrew Huberman, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, and Wim Hof are great resources about the effects of cold. It's important to approach cold therapy with caution. Start slow and controlled, limiting your time in the cold. Cold shock response is a very real thing, causing hyperventilation and a gasp reflex. Be prepared for the shock and try to breathe calmly. Having a friend present for your first few plunges can be helpful too. There is a risk of electrocution if the chest freezer is plugged up. Always unplug your chest freezer before plunging. Finally, I'd like to share my experience of cold plunges for three minutes a day for the last 45 days. The most noticeable and my favorite thing about the cold plunge is it wakes me up without a crash. I feel alert and ready for the day. It's the first thing I do in the morning. I go outside and I cold plunge and then I start my work day. I also really appreciate the mental clarity. When I'm in the cold plunge, I get to sit quietly for three minutes and really try to meditate and pray and breathe and just practice sensing everything around me. And also I get to be really calm and I appreciate that. It helps me build an awareness and a preparation for the day. The other thing that I've noticed is that 
my adaptability to temperature has improved. When it's really cold outside, it doesn't feel as cold to me. And then when it's really hot outside, it doesn't feel as hot as it used to. And that's a wrap on this one. I hope this video inspires you to take cold showers and or build your own cold plunge. If you do build one or you begin to expose yourself to the cold, please share in the comments below what your experience was like. I would love to hear about it. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button because it supports the channel and supports me. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one.